To combat climate change, the government has been setting incrementally higher emissions reduction targets over the past decade. By 2020, as coal-fired power generation continues to phase out, the share of natural gas in the fuel mix will increase to around 50% from its current portion of over 20% and will continue to increase further by 2030 and beyond. CLP has always been supporting the government's carbon and emissions reduction targets by utilizing more natural gas for power generation. Currently, CLP relies on two pipelines for its natural gas supply. Should any interruptions occur along the pipelines, our gas supply may suffer from immediate disruptions. An example of this would be the Shenzhen landslide that occurred at the end of 2015, which caused a suspension of natural gas supply from the second west-east pipeline to Hong Kong for over two months. To ensure a more reliable and stable gas supply, CLP plans to develop an offshore liquefied natural gas terminal, which will allow us to purchase liquefied natural gas, or LNG, from the global market at competitive prices. The offshore LNG terminal's design is simple, consisting of a double berth jetty constructed in open sea that covers an area equivalent to around three standard football fields and a marine vessel that is equipped with storage and regasification equipment. The vessel will be moored at the jetty for receiving globally imported LNG. When LNG carriers arrive at the jetty, LNG will be unloaded and transferred to the moored marine vessel for regasification. The natural gas would then be supplied to power stations through subsea pipelines. But everyone may be wondering, is LNG safe? In the event of a spillage, would LNG generate any pollution? LNG is natural gas that has been cooled to a temperature of minus 162 degrees Celsius. After cooling, LNG occupies 600 times less space than its original gaseous form, making it easier to transport. LNG is a proven technology with a good safety record since its introduction over 50 years ago. LNG is also colorless, odorless, non-toxic and non-corrosive. Its density is much lower than water and air. So if LNG is spilled, it would quickly evaporate into the air unlike oil spills that would pollute the ocean and lead to ecological impact. During the regasification process, seawater will be used for converting the LNG from its liquid form back into its gaseous form. During this process, seawater will become cooled, but when released back into the sea, the water will return to its original temperature shortly after being diluted with surrounding seawater. To ensure the safety of the facility, if a typhoon signal number three or above is in force, the moored marine vessels will depart from the jetty and avoid coming into contact with the typhoon. Upon its completion, we will be able to purchase LNG directly from the global market at competitive prices and enhance the stability and security of natural gas supply. With access to cleaner fuel for power generation in the future, we will be able to create a bluer sky for all.